वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश वन जीरो फाइव सो द स्टेटमेंट इज मेंबर हैज़ अ स्क्वेयर क्रॉस सेक्शन इज इन सब्जेक्टेड टू रिजल्टेंट इंटरनल बैंडिंग मोमेंट ऑफ एट फिफ्टी न्यूटन इंटू मीटर एज शोन डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेस एट ईच कॉर्नर एंड स्केच द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्रोड्यूस बाई एम सेट टीटा इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज सेम एज प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश वन जीरो फोर here the cross section is square that is 250 by 250 mm and this is z axis and this is your y axis and this moment is 850 newton into meter that is making an angle of theta that is 30 degree with x y axis so what we have to find is we have to find the stress at point a b e and d and we will plot the variation stress distribution produced by this m so let's start with the solution the first step is that you can see this moment is not about uh, y axis or z axis so it's making angle of theta with y axis so it will have two component one about y axis and this moment will be represented as my and this my will be equal to m cos of 30 degree while the other component is about z axis and this component will be represented as mz and this mz is equal to m into sin of 30 degree so we will find mz and my so my is equal to m cos of 30 degree and m is given as 850 newton into meter so 850 into cos of 30 degree will give you my and this my is equal to 736.12 Newton into meter. Now, what about m z? So m z is equal to m into sine of thirty degree. So eight fifty into sine of thirty degree is equal to four twenty five Newton into meter. Now, what about moment of inertia? About this, whether you take i z or i y, both will be the same because this is square in cross section so i will write it iz is equal to iy and that is equal to 1 or 12 b b is 0.250 and h is again 0.250 but we will take the cube so when you calculate it you will get iz is equal to iy is equal to uh 0.3255 into 10 is to power minus 3 meter power 4 now we will find the stress distribution so stress distribution uh, our stress is represented as for this unsymmetrical bend unsymmetrical bending we have mz over y divided by iz plus my into z divided by i y now what is y y is distance from uh, z axis clear while this z is the distance this is z either in this direction or in this direction but in in z direction it will be positive and uh, in opposite direction it will be negative so we will first find the Uh, stress at point a so stress at point a is equal to minus z so minus 730 uh, minus uh, mz mz is 425 so minus 425 into y so y is distance from z axis so this is since point b is in this direction negative y direction so this 0.125 is y a which is 0 minus 0.125 minus 0.125 divided by iz and iz is 0.3255 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus my is 736.12 and z is distance so you can see this is y axis and point a is in minus z direction so it will be minus 0.125 minus 0.125 divided by iz which is 0.3255 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you calculate it you will get 
stress at point A is equal to mi minus 119 kPe. Okay, so now we will move toward uh, stress at point B. So stress at point B is equal to, again, we will use this formula minus mz, so minus 425 multiply by you can see point B is at a distance uh, from this uh, Z axis this is at negative side so minus Y is minus 0 0.125 so minus 0 0.125 divided by I I is 0 0.3255 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus m y is 736.12 into now this point b is uh, from z uh, from y axis this is in positive direction of z so this is plus 0 0.125 so i will multiply 0 0.125 divide by this i which is 0 0.3255 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you calculate it you will get stress at point b is equal to 446 kpa okay now stress at point uh, d uh, our stress at point d is equal to minus mz mz is 425 multiply by so d point is this point and this point is from z axis this is in positive y direction so this will be positive 0 0.125 divided by i and this i is 0 0.3255 these are very easy problem only you have to just show the location or you have to understand the location plus my my is 736.12 and point d is uh, from z from y axis this is in negative z direction you can see this is negative z direction okay so negative uh, sorry point d is uh, from y axis so from y axis this in negative z direction so this is minus 0 0.125 divided by i which is 0 0.3255 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you calculate it will be minus 446 kpa now you have only left with the final and final one is uh, sigma e so sigma e is minus again mz which is 425 so e point is this point and this point is in positive y direction from this z axis so this will be 0 0.125 divided by i which is 0 0.3255 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus m y which is 736.12 into now you can see that this z direction is from y axis is also positive so this will be 0 0.125 divided by i which is 0 0.3255 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you calculate it it will be 119 kpa now you have all the stresses at this point so we will plot them in order to show you the stress variation so for that i have to remove all this thing from this okay and we will choose a color that can be visible on that so let's choose this color this this pink so at point a we have stress is 119 so let this is 119 clear at point e we have also 119 at point b we have at point d we have 446 so let this is 446 and at point b we have minus 446 minus uh, at point b is plus 446 and this might at point d is minus 446 now you can join them clear so what if i join it with this point and then we join this with this point and 
similarly join with this point so this is the plane and since stress at point a is minus 116 and at point d is minus 446 so this stress variation will be negative one so all this will be negative and similarly from at c at e we have a positive plus e i from here it will be positive and again here this will be also positive 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 on this side while in this area uh, we will have stress like this here it will be positive. somewhere it will be positive and and since we, and we will have this area as well so this is the stress distribution of this uh, unsymmetrical plane that is due to uh, bending moment in uh, unsymmetrical bending moment i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section this uh, video of uh, unsymmetrical bending was symmetrical bending was solved by the request of one of our uh, valuable viewer so i uh, started this two problem and inshallah uh, next two problem will be also about uh, unsymmetrical bending thank you for watching